back and sentinels the multiverse. So it's time to conclude the resurrection with the one-shot trilogy. And if you're wondering what I mean by trilogy is, now that the unlock conditions for Omnitron U has been revealed, this, this, and this are all supposed to set you up in order to actually unlock it. So if you're not aware, if you haven't seen the video yet, you just have to win this fight. This is Omnitron 1, and you need both Omnitron X or Omnitron 10, I'm not sure if that's what that's supposed to be, with Unity on the field. Both of them have to stay up. Then you have to fight Omnitron 2. You need both Unity and Omnitron. Now, for this fight, you need Omnitron to bite the bullet. And then to finally unlock him, you need to do a Unity game without Omnitron or Tachyon. This is a reference to a comic where Unity and Tachyon got in a fight over whether or not to revive Omnitron. Unity was the one who went through with it, and that's why you had to put together the collection of parts for her to do so. Pylon, workbench, scrap metal, supply crate, volatile parts, and uh, robot reclamation. So if you actually played all those in this fight, you would end up getting Omnitron U unlocked. So for this resurrection, Reborn, give you a clue that this is your final piece to Omnitron. The other link to all these, if you haven't noticed, is the randomized start. I'm not really sold on this one because now we're jumping to Advanced Edition Ambuscade with a three-man group. And unfortunately, we don't actually have true damage here to pierce his damage reduction, so... We'll see how this plays out. So anyway, the Wraith scanned the area, but the latest escape view is nowhere in sight. She glanced toward Devra, barely visible among the piles of equipment. I'm worried about her, Ada. I think she only agreed to join this mission so she could find more parts. The ancient warrior nodded. Her mind is troubled, but her heart is strong. We must stay by her side. Sparks flew around Unity as she worked furiously to rebuild her friend, unaware of the blurred form approaching from the darkness. So, there you go. That's the lore trying to tell you that you need a lot of stuff to bring Omnitron you out. And we're in the block, apparently. Now, unlike the impossible challenge, I don't think you need a specific start in order to win. Anyway, I have found you, my prey. Your time runs short. Au revoir. Bad guys, oh no. Looks like it's time to make some friends. Emphasis on the making part. So Ambuscade, if you're not familiar, he's a difficulty 2 superhuman hunter. He is the nemesis of Haka, you can tell because of the emblem right here. That's basically Haka's eye. So he's going to start on this side. If he pulls a cloaking device, which he can because he's going to fish out hero minus 1 devices, he will stealth. At the end of the turn, he'll deal the hero with the highest HP 2 projectile damage, and while he's on this side, the villain targets take one less damage. So for Wraith, that means her throwing knives are worthless without a micro-targeting computer. Same for her stun dart. It's basically Razor Ordnance or nothing. And when he's flipped, you cannot mitigate his damage in any way, shape, or form, be it smoke bombs, platform bot, or any hijinks from Haka, I believe. I'm not exactly sure about the Haka thing. That's one of the things we have to find out as we go, because we may need it. So let's see what devices he fishes out, shall we? Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. So how does he attack on this side? Lowest HP, two energy damage, two irreducible damage. So everything's gonna take two sonic damage order to play Raptor Bot. That's the end of Raptor Bot. Actually, this won't do anything either. I'm gonna play the pylon, that's it. I'll skip. So I have the razor ordnance I can use to pop the mine. This basically works like a uh, hypersonic assault of the enemy team. As a result, Haka can't do anything right now. 
So, Vitality Surge is kind of tempting, but I think I want to get Dominion in play. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of destroyed environmental cards. And you can see Sonic Mine doesn't even let you do anything. Savage Mana. That can be very helpful to get his cloaking devices out of the deck. Destroy all inmates. Increase damage by one. Gun. Baka. Even though I eat more damage as a result of it, it's just I need to do something here. So this isn't actually going to deal any damage, but it's going to give me cards. That workbench is very helpful. Oh, that's right, it's the other side when he'll mitigate damage. So, first time deals damage to Ambuscade, this card deals that target damage, doesn't really matter. So... Swiftbot, and I'm gonna take Platform Bot because it has a somewhat better chance of surviving. Inspired Repair, Cryobot. Cryobot may actually be handy here. I'm kinda shocked to say that myself. So I have two options here. I can play the Utility Bell in order to stealth, but I'm gonna go the damage route first and foremost. So it's going to be harder to pop his stuff, but it's going to be possible, that's the thing. Does he have a lot of targets I can pop? to get Savage Man out, but I think I need to break his gun before it breaks something of mine. Stealths. Yeah, he's just gonna keep shooting my bots unless I can somehow chip away it this stuff over there. So, I'm gonna play Brainstorm. I'm kind of hoping for something I can dispose of, and crap. Like, I need the Inspired Repair to heal my bots. In this case, I'm thinking Stealth Bot is probably the most expendable one. We're getting Cryobot out. So that the guard will destroy it for me. 
unless some sort of inmate pops, it's going to draw the guard's fire, which would make sense this game so far. Or that happens. Now the good news is Swift Bond doesn't deal damage. <laughs> It's just, it's not going to have that much of an impact, I'm afraid, so... We will discard this to bring out Champion Bot. Now, there's nothing worth playing there. So my best course of action is I'm going to aim for the reactive plating and try to drop this low enough that they'll focus that instead of swift bot. Right now I'm kind of glad I'm not under some sort of time limit. In case you're wondering what I was thinking about here, if I can get smoke bombs out and then, uh, is it Tomoko? Yeah. Tomoko, that'll give him one point of damage reduction. Basically what I was thinking about is I could have all of it redirected towards him, but the problem is smoke bombs do not work well with Unity bots, so that's not as helpful. Got the May, right? Okay, Swift Bot's dead. That was going to be a cloaking device. How many robots are in my trash? And that doesn't let you get the pile on out, does it? Top of the deck, I want to get Swift Bot back. We are going to discard Flash Forge to bring her back out. So now I have a fistful of bots. So we're going to use the grappling hook to destroy his charge attacks. The guards should aim for the reactive plating. And that's going to cause some damage to come back to me. So just to play it safe, let's hit this thing. Prison Riot.
gun. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to attack him at this rate. It's being kind of insane. with Stealth Bond, that's the reason behind that move, in case you're wondering. the impression they had to go left to right for some reason the game makes up rules as it goes along so I want to go back and just kill Shar right off the bat that's the way it works for Unity's bots and a lot of other stuff and it kind of sucks that it's not consistent This one, I need to like get redirected. And for the 
press these, it shouldn't matter. Stealth bot should get destroyed here. Oh, it lives with one. So right here I need to use the Inspired Repair. I could use the tie hod to just round up a lot of stuff, but oh well. Now, do I want to bring out Raptor Bot? And I'm thinking I do. here so I don't have to worry about the guards anymore. It's courtesy of Swiftbot. I'm trying to set these up for an execution by... Right, I forgot his name. Haka. So we're going to pop this to bring out the Raptor Bots. Now this is going to be a very painful turn for, turn for Ambuscade. the stun bolt here even though the mega computer could be very helpful and the main reason for that is I just want to try to mitigate some of his damage suture could help you're getting your savage mana
case you're wondering, I'm trying to build up some cards so I can do an execute that you'll see and gotta catch them all. Reduce all damage by two. Well, that's gonna nullify that. Yeah, that's it for him. Just the one platform bot. So we can play Supply Crate. I'm gonna play Scrap Metal and actually sacrifice it. It's gonna give me a B bot, and that's going to amplify the damage of my Raptor bot so I can kill him right now. If I didn't play Bebot, they'd be dealing 6 damage each, and he'd survive with 1 hit point. So yeah, that could have definitely sucked if I didn't get the environment under control. All in all, I don't really think this was an ideal team for dealing with him. The advantage is with Haka, if you can get Savage Man out, you can start collecting his devices. The problem then is, if you get all of his devices, you're only left with his ongoings and one-shots. The ongoing should not be too bad because he doesn't have any equipment for you to destroy anymore, but the one-shots can be a little annoying because they play the next card in sequence, so you can actually do like some sudden burst damage that you may not be expecting. But otherwise, if you had those six items I told you about in play, the pylon, the workbench, scrap metal, crate, volatile parts and you played Robot Reclamation during the game, that would have given you Omnitron U. Now it's important to note that some of the one-shots are like that, namely Ghost of uh, Giftness Past. That one is designed to force you to kind of, un like, I don't even know if you can beat this without unlocking Santa Guys in the process. So, yeah, I have him. It's just, I don't know his unlock condition just yet, so I have to see about making a video on how to get him later. But anyway, that's the Omnitron U trilogy out of the way. Next up is Citizen Dawn on Advance Mode. So, it's not gonna get any better, I'm afraid. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching.